Hey coders, welcome back to another YouTube video. It's me Mohammed from Mass Code Tech, and today we will be downloading and setting up Visual Studio Code. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe this video, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Let's hop right into the video. <laughs> What is Visual Studio Code? Visual Studio Code is a code runner that we will be using to write our codes for HTML, CSS, and JavaScript Advanced. Visual Studio Code is also used to make websites. So guys, I'm right over here on the Visual Studio Code download page. I will leave a link down below in the description. You have to download it. So yeah, here you will see these three icons, Windows, Linux, and Mac. You have to pick which one's your PC. Ours is Windows, so I will click Windows, and it will take us to this page. These are the these are the things you, top extensions you can download, but we need only some of those. I will tell you which ones we need after it's downloaded. So it's downloading right now, and yeah, you can read the information right here. I read it already. So I will see you after it's downloaded. So guys, Visual Studio Code has been downloaded, and now I will explain everything we have in here. So yeah, let's get started. First of all, we have this bar right over here with so many things over there. So the first one is the Explorer, where you can find all your codes. So I made a folder right over here. How to make a folder? Really simple. You click File, you click Open Folder, and you select the folder. You create new, create a new folder, or you select the one you have already. You made one, so I made one already. I have one in here. Now we're going to create some files for our folder. So Visual Studio Codes. I named it that. So we're going to create some files. So first file is going to be index.html. You can name it whatever, but the first thing. You can name it whatever you want. So I named it index because that's the one most of the people do. Because HTML controls the index. So I named it index. Then at, we're going to use to put a dot. And then we have to type in HTML for all the HTML files we're making. Then you simply click OK or enter. You simply click enter. And there we go. We have it. Now we're going to create one, two more for JavaScript and CSS that we will be using in future not now but in future so we're going to create style.css you can again name it something else then .css enter and then for javascript I will name it sketch.js so you can name it anything sketch I named it sketch then .js enter all right, so we got our three files right over here ready. Now I will explain you more about this. So this was the explore button where you can find all the codes you have. And one more thing, we can call the boilerplate for the HTML. You just have to put an exclamation mark and enter. There we go. We have the boilerplate right there. Now we, this, the next button is where you can search words so first i will search up html enter and it finds all the html's there are so there are three in one file so one two three and yeah now this is the next one source control i don't really know what this is so we will let it say there by itself this is the one where we will run the code you just have to click run and debug so it will find the mistakes in your code and debug them and yeah, finally, we have extensions. So we will be downloading some extensions right now, just one extension. So you're going to type in live server. Server. And you click the first one, and it is it has a logo like this. And you click install. I don't want to uninstall it, so you can just click install. It shows in green. And yeah, there we go. We have a live server. Now we can go back. To our explorer now if you go ahead and click view and command palette you can search up for teams you have to type in team and then you pick preferences preferences color team you click it 
and you can select a team you want. Let's check out some of the teams. So the first one, Light Visual Studio Team. So let's check it out. It goes all white. Now we're going to check out some more of the teams. So I really like it dark because I don't know. Then there are like Abyss. I don't know the name I forgot. Team. It was Abyss. I don't know how to say it. And yeah, there's so many more. So I will go back with Dark Visual Studio. No, that was not the one. It was Dark Plus. So yeah, there we go. I have my code. Now over here is a gear icon. You click it and you go to settings. In settings, you're going to for auto save. You're going to select off after delay, and then for font size, you can. Change the font size. I kept it at 25 because I don't want to squint at the screen and try to read the word. And enter. And then the next one we're going to type in is word wrap. Word wrap with a W. So, what word wrap is that it controls how the line should wrap. So, it doesn't, it pre prevents from you typing long codes in like two lines or three lines so it just goes in one line not two or three yeah now we're going to type in mouse wheel and turn it on so mouse wheel oh i spelled it wrong mouse wheel all right so you see this mouse wheel we're just gonna hit the click mark and it will turn on so what these do this does is when we go to our code we can hold control and zoom in and out by just rolling our cursor so in out we can do that and yeah so mm -hmm. now i will tell you more about this and the more thing is uh, when you go to view command palette you can find some keyboard shortcuts so you have to type in keyboard shortcuts then you have to always click preferences so open keyboard shortcuts and you find all of them right over here so for example if you want to change it you just go to it and you I'm going to an easy one because I don't remember those so you just click edit and then you change it I will keep it the same one yeah so this is how you set it up now when we can also type in a code for example so you go underneath in between body and you type in we're gonna make a header so greater than less than sign then h1 which means header then we're going to type in the topic i will type in uh i don't know hi all and then close it greater than less than and then h1 with the slash so h1 there we go we have it now we can open it with the live server so open it with the live server you have to right click it and then click open with live server so for the first so as you can see it, it's right there so for the first time all of you guys it will open up in a uh, in a internet explorer so if you want to change it you just simply go to settings and type in browser and the first one it will show live server settings so you click that and select your browser. I selected Chrome. You can select Firefox and Microsoft Edge. I selected Chrome because that's the one I like better. And when you click right over here, open settings.json, it will open this. So you can save this as your settings. And when you get a new PC or anything like that, you can just save this in a USB drive and open this in your new Visual Studio Code. So yeah, this is it. So guys, this is it for today's video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe this video. And bye. I'll see you next time.